Hey, what's up guys? Quick little vid for you today. Still got some of them porcinis left that I want to use up before they before they go bad. So I'm going to make a quick little meal with it. Got some uh, ground beef frying up in the pan. And I got a little, still got some sweet Vidalia onion. And I got a ear of sweet corn. Stay tuned. All right, we're just gonna start by seasoning it up, add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of black pepper. Some dried minced garlic. That's just because I don't have any fresh garlic to cut up, so I'm just using that. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Mix it up, break it up, get it all incorporated. All right, so we're just grinding our beef. Get that out of the way. Start chopping up our vegetables. Start slicing up all these porcinis. These I'm going to slice up pretty thin. So I'm gonna make roll them up in an egg roll, so we can't need them kind of kind of small to fit in the little wrapper. Something like that. And you know they'll cook down a little bit too, so just something like that. I'm gonna chop up some of this Vidalia onion. Wanna cut it pretty much the same size. It's pretty pretty fine chop on it. Like I said it's going inside an egg roll so you don't want the pieces too big. Alright, the heifer's nice and brown. I drained a little bit of the grease out of it. Now we're just going to add the diced porcini and the sweet onion, sweet Vidalia onion, as a matter of fact. Fry that up, stir it up, fry it up for a bit, get it all incorporated. Alright, now we're going to cut off some sweet corn to throw on there. Just cut it straight off the cob here. Some sweet corn fresh out the farms from Colorado. This will add a little extra flavor and texture to the egg rolls. Kind of using it in place of cabbage this time. 
pretty much because it's all I had in my fridge. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Adding the sweet yellow corn to the mix. I'm just going to let that cook up. Give it a stir. I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit to about medium. We're just going to continue stirring our egg roll mixture. Get all those flavors incorporated. Alright, now I'm going to add some of this teriyaki sauce marinade. Give it that, you know, that Asian flavor. That teriyaki flavor after all these are egg rolls, eh? And just give it a give it a stir. Mm, it smells good. Just let that simmer for a while. Just simmer in the mixture with the teriyaki sauce. Going to simmer it for about 10 minutes maybe. Alright, now I'm going to start rolling me some egg rolls. Got the mixture in here. Just going to put it down like that. A good amount. Alright, I just use a little bit of water to seal the egg roll wrapper. Just put a little bit on each corner. Kind of run it like that. I mean, most people use uh, you know egg wash, but water works just just fine for doing this. Like that. Boom, there you have it. Just an egg roll. And we just want to do a couple like that. I like to put it diagonal towards me. I find it's easier to wrap that way. This piece is kind of torn off. the water to seal it, make the wrapper stick, and yeah, we're just going to make a, it's going to make a few more like that. I'm trying to make a fatty here. Roll me a Colorado fatty. One of those porcini Colorado fatty egg rolls. Go for another. Yeah. Let's see if we can fit all that in there. Get some water. Make my end sticky. Roll this up. Did 
think that'll work. Porcini Colorado Fatty. Alright, this is my last egg roll wrapper, so I made it fat as I could. Just gonna roll this one up. And I'll just save the rest of that mixture for whatever. Right, we're just pouring a little a little canola oil. Turn the heat up high. I want to get that oil right, hot. Got my six egg rolls here, rolled up, ready to go. Got the oil. I think it's just about ready. So we're about, we're gonna drop those in there. Start with the small one. Oh, pretty good. Drop another one in there. Just be gentle when you're dropping them in the hot grease. Gotta put them in there really, really with ease. Man, we could probably do three at a time. There's room. Yeah, I'm just trying to turn them over on each side. Just kind of using each other to prop it the other one up. Good to have a pair of tongs to do this too. It'd be too hard with like a fork. But yeah, we're frying good. Just doing about 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds on each side, turning frequently. These little, these little egg roll wraps aren't very, real thin, so they, they burn quick, so you gotta be quick. All right, and we're just about ready with this. Each side has a nice golden brown on it. So you just want to take them off, put them on a plate with the, some paper towels, absorb any extra grease. But yeah, these are ready. Nice golden brown. That side just a couple more seconds. Yeah. All right, those came out pretty good. Now we're just going to put in these last three. Grease is still nice and hot. Lay those in. Try to lay them away from you. In case they drop, they won't splash back on you. I'm just gonna do the same thing with these three. Just do about 30, 30 to 40 seconds on each side. I'm gonna turn frequently. That's all. That's already good enough. Just turn them over like that. So they're already getting that nice golden. Don't take long at all to cook these. Wait for another 20, 30, maybe 40 seconds. Give them another quarter turn. Try to get each side. Just be careful while you're doing it. Grease is very hot. All right, guys, and these are done. These are put those on the plate. Kind of drip some of the grease off of it. 
for the oil. Oh yeah, they smell good too. Slam down on the paper towels. And yeah, just gonna let them cool for five, ten minutes. And we'll try them out. Get back to you. Alright. Let them sit and cool for about 10 minutes. I think they're about ready now. Just put a little bit of aluminum foil over them. So they wouldn't cool out too fast. Anyway, we're going to try one of these out. Alright, nice and warm. Still crispy. Mm. That is good. You taste all the flavors, the sweet onion, the mushroom, the teriyaki sauce. All oh, just tastes like a nice Mmm, tastes that corn too. Came out good. Mm. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this one. This came out good, I enjoyed it. Fun to make. So yeah, I mean, those porcinis came through, you can taste them, along with all the other ingredients. But yeah, if you could get out there and forage your own food, take it home and cook it, it just always makes it taste ten times better. And it's a fun time doing it too. Anyway, if you like these type of videos, if you like the cooking stuff, give me some likes so I know that you guys want to see more cooking videos. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.